Now, I know that there are a bunch of speculations out there, you know, about really how much it costs on Amazon. You probably heard numbers like $500 all the way to $50,000, right? But in today's video, we're going to put all these matters to rest because I'm going to explain to you exactly how much it costs to start selling on Amazon in 2020 in about four to six minutes instead of making a prolonged 35 minute video. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome, please consider subscribing. Also hit the bell as I drop brand new content every single Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about selling on Amazon, tips and tricks that you can take out there and utilize in your business today. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so how much does it really cost to selling on Amazon in 2020? So the first thing that you do have to understand is that um, one of the most important things is really how are you going to go about finding products? Now, in last week's video, which I'm gonna be linking at the end of this video, um, I explained to you about how you can actually hire other people to locating products for you, right? And depending on which method you utilize, whether if you're gonna go about it yourself which you're gonna need some tools, or if you're gonna hire someone else, which you probably don't need a whole bunch of tools, that's going to dictate really how much that particular task is going to cost. But for the most part, um, if you're going to hire someone or have tools, it's gonna to cost you between, um, I wanna say between 70 to $150 to locating that product, right? Um, like if you're gonna use a tool, I want to say, there is Jungle Scouts, which you can have the web app and also the um, Chrome extension, and that's for $69. I also have, um, if you go through my, you know, my affiliate link, there is a link in the bottom. I think they get, provide like a 30% discount. Also, Helium 10 is a great tool. And um, through my link, and also I have a coupon code where you can get either a 10% off first month or 50, or no, 10% off um, ongoing or 50% um, 50 off your first month, right? So. That's the number one thing, which is a tool, right? Uh, and finding a product. The second thing is really the product itself. Now, utilizing my personal product research criteria, which I am gonna link in the comment section below, you should be able to locate a product that can make you a profit of about $3,000 a month, and you should do that within 25% of the cost. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, if a product you find, you figure that you can sell for $20 on Amazon, it should not cost you more than 25% of the cost of that product. So it shouldn't cost you more than $5, um, $5 landed to Amazon's warehouse. That means manufacturing the product plus shipping. So let's say if you're gonna find a product that can sell for $20 and you're going to um, buy it for $5, I'll also link in the comment section um, my, you know, my, my supplier's script. So you can simply copy and paste it when you contact your suppliers. That should be uh, $1,000 because I um, suggest that all my students and also you guys um, order not more than 200 units, right? So $5 times 200, that's $1,000. Now the third thing is buying a UPC code. That's simply the, the code that's going to identify and you know differentiate your personal product, right? So it's a code that you're gonna put into Amazon when you create your listing and then Amazon gives you what is called an ASIN, which you then give your supplier to put on the product. Now, I personally use um, a website called Barcodes Mania. I'm also gonna put a link to it in the comment section or in the description below. And um, you can actually buy five codes for $10 or you can buy one code for, I believe, $5. I personally would suggest that you do the five codes for $10 because I'm assuming you're not only gonna launch one product. Now, the other thing you have to worry about is the actual um, logo of your brand, right? Or of your store or of your product, right? So typically I also use Fiverr for that specific uh, task. My first logo cost me $5. However, logos can cost anywhere between 10 to $50, but it just really depends on what you want. I honestly would not stress it very much about the logo itself. Number one, you can change it later on. Number two, you know, people really don't look at the logo very much. Now the customization of the packaging, yes, not the logo, and it could be really anything, so do not stress it too much. The fifth thing would be um, photography. Now, many of your suppliers, I wanna say seven out of 10 of your suppliers will have pictures that you can take from, your, from them, right? So what you could do is you can take those pictures and then have someone on Fiverr for about five to $20 per photo, you know, add infographic, 
Also, um, you know, just kind of like um, make it look prettier, right, than it really is because you're probably gonna get just the raw image from your supplier. So that task can cost you anywhere between, you know, $40 up to $300 if your supplier does not have pictures and if you have to actually take um, real photos of your product. Now, many of my students um, actually will do the photos themselves and that can save you a whole bunch of money. But if you have to, if your supplier doesn't have um, photos of the product, which once again, seven out of 10 would, and you have to take them yourselves, you either can find someone locally, there are some services that actually, you know, offer um, photography, and also you can have a, you can find a photographer on Fiverr that you ship your product to, they can take photos and then edit the photos as well. Now the sixth thing is having an Amazon account. Now you definitely want to have a professional account, you don't want to start with individual. However, starting an Amazon account really should be kind of one of the last steps you take, simply because if it, it might take you a month or two months to finding a product because your life is busy, you've got a busy life, something is happening, and you don't want to be spending that $40. It's $39.99 for US. I believe if you're in Canada or other marketplaces, it's a little bit different, but on average, it's going to be about $40 US per month. Now let's do quick math here and kind of add everything up. So if you were to take um, research, which would be $70, and also if you're doing, if you're gonna be utilizing a tool, you really subscribe to these tools for one, you know, one month and then you can you know, uh, cancel it, right? You don't need to have those tools all the time. You can cancel and go back to it whenever you're ready to launch your second product. So $70 for the tool, $1,000 for the product, $40 for your account, $10 for the UPC because you're smart, you're gonna buy five, $25 for your logo, and then $100 for photo, uh, photography, that should um, equal to $1,200, well, $1,245. Now, there are two things that are optional, right? Number one is having a sample. Um, that can cost anywhere between $50 to $150, expect to pay about that much. Uh, that's something you want to do before you actually place your order to check out the order and then see how it is. About 50% of my products, I have order samples, 50% of them I just went for. It. Many times it can happen where even if you order a sample, they might send you a good product and then, you know, in the sample and then the bulk order might be different. So that's why we have added also a secondary optional uh, thing, which is inspection. And that's where you hire a company that actually is, you know, China based. They will go to the actual suppliers, manufacturers, uh, you know, factory and um, um, inspect the supplies. Now that can cost you between $100 to $250 and that's another additional added cost. Now if you did find this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up, also share it with your friends and consider subscribing if it is your first time to this channel as I drop brand new content every single Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, which is 9 p.m. Eastern, about Amazon FBA tips and tricks that you can take and utilize in your business today. Now look, if you're wondering, well, you know what, all this stuff sounds great, but I would rather have someone walk me through this entire process step-by-step step and really show me how everything's done because I don't wanna go out there and figure things out on my own via trial and error. And unfortunately, that was me, and my business didn't really, you know, get fixed and really start going towards where it's really at right now until I actually found myself a mentor and took courses and invested in myself and my self-education. So what we are doing is we are actually making available a couple spots on my team's calendar where, you know, you hop on a call with us and we figure out exactly where you are, what it is you're trying to accomplish, and if we can help you, then we explain to you your options. All you need to do is click on the link in the comment section below. There's a short application process. Go ahead and fill it out and then book a time to speak with either me or one of my team members. Once again, guys, Bashar Ketu here. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Have yourselves a great week and take care.